dream is something that will disappear no matter how much you wish to believe it. What are you going on about? No, 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 don't play coy with me. I'm talking about Catherine. You saw her, didn't you? I saw her? Um, excuse me, Don't but... fuck with me, old man! I am serious! Hey! Hey, Vincent! Everyone else said that they didn't see her. Then don't you think it's crazy that only you did? You're the one that's crazy. Me? See her? Because of her, I'm starting to lose it. I already know that you're the key. Damn it, why didn't I realize it sooner? Come on, cut it out! <laughs> You saw her! I know you saw her! Speak up! Stop moaning and answer me, goddammit! Vincent! Fuck! <coughs> Just... say something! Please, man. Please. Tell me that you saw her! Well, very well. <clears throat> if you must persist. Yes. I did indeed see her. Huh? She was blonde, wearing a provocative white dress, like lingerie. Yeah, 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 that's the girl. And you saw her with me yesterday, right? Yes, of course. It's your preference, isn't it? <laughs> Girls like her? Gary. So then, you admit it. All right. See? He did see her. <sighs> Jesus. Really? You are just full of surprises. Not only did you survive this long, but to think you figured me out. What? Huh? I must commend you for your perception. Uh, well, I didn't really perceive anything. And sorry about the choking. A lot happened, so I was a bit freaked out. <sighs> Tell me you didn't see her. There is no way she does not exist. <laughs> well, normally that is the case. Normal people can't see her after all. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what? what? That's only natural. After all, she isn't from this realm. Boss? It was rather unnatural, wasn't it? <laughs> a girl like her in a town like this? <laughs> Either way, you don't need to worry. <laughs> I have given up on showing you nightmares. Showing me nightmares? It was quite a sight, watching you run like the wind. Uh, what are you talking about? Huh? She was here, right? Her. Catherine. Huh? <laughs> he didn't get it. Wait, you didn't rush me because... I just... I just wanted proof that she really existed. <laughs> I knew that you saw her. You did, right? Ah. <laughs> I see. Ah. Hey. <laughs> <clears throat> the usual, sir. Rum and cola, was it? Hey, boss. Can I ask you something? Uh, you know, what would that be? You see, I thought that nightmares were something that you see on your own. So could it be... that... That... That someone else can show you one? Well, I... I, I wonder... Come on. Uh, well, I, I wonder... I wonder my ass. Pretty sure I just heard you say you're somehow involved in this. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> did I? You did. You him, right? Huh? Uh, yeah, he did. So what was that all about? Huh? Well, uh, what did I say? You were surprised I survived? What does that mean? I didn't say that. You said it. I didn't say it. <laughs> Stop fucking with me! I know that you're hiding something! Tell me! I don't know. Why do I have to go through all this shit? Well, it's not just you. Excuse me, I was not expecting this turn of events. Fuck you! Every day is unexpected for me! And what is with these fucking shades? You are indoors! What? It's not from personality, of course. Who the fuck are you? Please, stop. You're dealing with a desperate man now. Thanks to you and your bullshit, Catherine and I are through! 
So explain yourself, you fucking monster! <sighs> Allow me to introduce myself. I, Thomas Mutton. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> uh, to sum it up, when there are people like you, who spend a long amount of time with a partner without commitment, it impedes the population model. The rate of population growth is less than optimal. What the hell are you talking about? So, I have these hesitant gentlemen climb that. Wait, you're talking about the nightmare? Oh, you're the one behind that? Who... who the hell are you? I have been given many names by humans since ancient times. Wasting a woman's time of greatest fertility is a hindrance to the future of the species. So we separate these non-fruitful couples and redistribute the women to men who can follow the natural order, you see? Okay, so what? You're just killing men who have a partner that they don't want to marry? Is that it? <laughs> well... To put, put it, it bluntly. You think I'm gonna accept your bullshit story? Please do not worry. You won't see that young girl ever again. Huh? She is a succubus. She appears at will and seduces men under the curse by appearing as their ideal woman. If you're going to sever ties with a longtime partner, what better way than with a messy affair, right? Oh, man. <sighs> Do you understand everything now? <laughs> yeah, I get it. I get everything. So, in the end, what am I guilty of? Uh... <laughs> if the girl doesn't exist, then it's not cheating. <sighs> if it feels like cheating, then it's cheating, right? You think... You think you can just get away with this? Uh, well, it isn't like I just started this job yesterday. After all, the reason you were born was because we weeded out the man who was misleading your mother. What? I do believe that was the case. You better stop fucking with me. If you don't wish to believe, that's fine. However, it is a necessary evil. <sighs> Having a broken heart may be painful, but you have also earned your freedom. Plus, you have a fierce will to survive. You should be able to grasp happiness again soon enough. To me, she... she was already family. I only realized that after I was dumped. How pathetic is that? I really can't help you there. This entire situation is your fault, right? So what are you gonna do about it? Huh? What? You're the one who cheated. How is that my fault? <laughs> well, it sure as shit isn't mine. You're the cause of it all. Plus, I was ready to get married. You got your wish. Uh, but that was only due to your cheating on her, right? Besides, it's too late to make up with her now. You don't get to decide that. If you really intend to push me... Tonight, I will have to show you what I can really do. If that happens, then tonight will certainly be your last. Are you prepared to die? Oh, let's still continue. What if you die here before I do? Vincent! Hey, wait a second. <laughs> Yo, you still alive? We came back since we're worried about you. Let's drink some more, man. Wouldn't be able to sleep anyway. I didn't have any problem sleeping. Uh, hey, something happened? Uh, guys, Boss and Vincent are- It's okay, don't say anything. Uh, but- What's wrong? Uh, sorry, I, uh, I haven't finished my chat with him yet. You guys start the party without me. Whatever you say, just don't go aggro, you drunk. Ah, uh, don't worry, we're just, just playing some games here. <laughs> right? Yes, that's right. <laughs> There's no point screwing around with you. I'll let you off. For now. But in return... About what you were saying? 
If I am still alive tomorrow, you're gonna grant me my wish. Wait, Vincent. What are you saying? I'm telling you, it's impossible. Then you should have no problem making that promise. If you really can control the nightmares, then make this one the last. It will be the last, whether you win or lose. Yeah. And not just for me, everyone else. It ends tonight. And not only that, you're going to arrange to have Catherine meet me here. That's impossible. Well, I can't do it. I can't call her, and it's not like I can just text her. <sighs> Very well. If you agree, then I honor your conditions. Really? Great. And remember, you better keep your promise. Got it? Oh, hey, Vincent. Are you sure about this? Yeah. One week of this bullshit is more than enough. And sorry to make you worry back there, but I gotta end this. Not so much with this jackass. With myself. You said... Oh, the boss is gone. We're boss? But uh, Toby, after all, this was Toby, man. But it's Teddy! Let's say first. If we hadn't come back, you'd be in some deep shit. What? <laughs> Screwing around. It didn't look like it to me. I was just getting worked up over a bet, that's all. If you say so, man. But if you do something to get us on the news, man, we're all gonna have to go on the land. Well, that sounds good. It'll be like when we were kids, out on adventures. So we're adults now, huh? Hey, what are you talking about, guys? Maybe when you're older, kid. <laughs> hey, that's mean. Oh, are we gonna have that damn dream again tonight? Are you all right? Man, you know I love you. Don't say stuff like that. Who's that coming? Hey, it's Daniel. Hey, Vincent. What was that just now? We saw you grabbing Boss. Something happened? No, everything's fine. Sorry you had to see that. Now, I'm not gonna stick my head into every bar brawl you get into, but if something's bothering you, let us know, okay? When we were younger, we'd always help each other as a team. Remember? Yeah. Felt like we could take on the world back then. Fun times. Uh, but Toby here wouldn't know about that, would he? Come on, why you gotta go there? We were like that once, huh? Anyway, we've already settled things. Maybe it's because I'm tired, but sake is getting to me really quickly. Hey, don't overdo it. Let's have some good stuff tomorrow. What do you mean? Well, nothing. Huh? You got me. Fantastic news, congratulations, you, you have successfully completed the GD car. Good award from the cell phone, okay. Chief and Orlando aren't looking too good. Everything will be okay after tonight. Which means... Never mind. Well, I'll be back to normal come tomorrow. I'll bet my life on it. Uh, yeah. what are you saying? Hey, don't look at me like I've lost it. Kind of guy try to sound cool sometimes? You haven't had any nightmares, have you? You mean that one in the rumors that are supposed to kill you? <laughs> yeah, I'm not that gullible. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool then. You got mail. Oh, still here. Mr. Burton, some of our newer clothes and models have been having trouble accessing our online media store device. We apologize for the inconvenience. 
We are handing the issue with sending the our user the data they were storing online via text message. This message will not push you anything to receive. Oh, this takes me back. Oh, this takes me back. Hey, I wanted to see you. Tell you something. Hmm? I'm going to marry Anna. I'm nice. throwing away my family and company and everything. What? Really? We're eloping, rather. We're leaving tonight, after this. I see. You guys seem happy. My life is so hard, as if taking care of him wasn't hard enough. It's okay. We have love. Ugh, men are so stupid. That nightmare is going to continue. But I think that's okay. Why? I wouldn't mind nightmares anyway. Don't worry. They'll all end tonight. It feels like it will really be that way when you say it. I hate to say this, but I really look up to you. Thank you. Thank you, Daniel. Is there anywhere you'd like to live? I don't care where. Somewhere where there aren't many other women. Anna. Oops, Vincent heard me. <laughs> but it's all thanks to you. Thank you so much for saving him. Yeah. Vincent's a really dependable guy. Ever since he was a kid. Thank you, Vincent. Justin. <laughs> Still alive. Something the matter? I remembered how you saved me in the nightmare. I talked a lot about myself. I think I just wanted somebody to listen to me. Maria! I'm so weak. These events aren't going to end naturally. The police can't do anything. This is when the mass oh. But I'm too afraid to write about it. I think it's because I'm afraid to admit that I have the power to save people through my words. Yeah, well, I'll look forward to whatever you write. Yeah. Think I can get an interview with you one day? The unnamed hero? The yeah, unnamed ship. Stop it. It's embarrassing. It's all because of you. Thank you. It's the unadulterated truth. After this is all over, I'm gonna marry my girlfriend. Nice. I should buy the ring so I can do it the moment I'm ready. Excuse me. They're done. I did also talk to Erica later. Ah! The girl is gone. Very kind of. Did you hear? I figured out who the witch is. Who? And who is it? It was me. What? <laughs> you know all that shit that went on when we were young? Seems it got mixed in with the rumors. Well, you did disappear that one time. And to think I just kept spreading the rumor, fooling people. Was there anyone who believed it? You. Well, I never believed it in the first place. Listening to you never leads to anything good. <laughs> what? Anyway, about what you and Boss were talking about? Dumbass. It's all a lie. Don't worry about it. Tomorrow we can drink and enjoy ourselves. Okay. I hope so. Hey, how much oh. of what you were talking about tonight is true? You said you'd be fighting? <laughs> you really never change, do you? True or not, I don't think I can lose to him. This is the end. For the mysteries, the rumors, for the guys, and for everyone. He needs to take responsibility. Look, just don't be stupid about it, okay? Everyone's worried about you. <laughs> I'll be fine, don't worry. Come back here tomorrow, okay? Have a drink. Today's lead story is the mysterious weakening deaths. James Thompson, age 33, was found dead today. Was he in the nightmare too? Were we climbing together? And George Baker, age 30. Once again, the names of the deceased. Time to be worrying about money. Something more important than cash. Let's get back. Are you going home, Vincent? Yeah, I'm going. Don't look so worried, Erica. We'll be okay. 
Have some faith in me. I'll see me tomorrow. Okay. I believe in you. I'll see you soon then. Thank you.